Balancing chemical equations are extremely important for making sure that we're examining a reaction the way it could actually occur. We have a very specific process that we go through for balancing equations. Before you can start balancing equation, you must have the correct formulas for the reactants and the products. So you need to know what all of the reactants and the products are before you start balancing. You must then count the atoms of each element in the reactants and in the products. We'll also look at some of the polyatomic ions and other things that you may want to pay attention to. You'll then use coefficients to balance the equation. Notice it's just coefficients. You do not change the formulas. Remember, you've got the, safe, the correct formulas already. Do not change them. Then you'll check your final equation. You may need to make some adjustments depending on how you've actually done so far. In this example, I'm going to balance nitrogen gas reacting with oxygen gas to form NO2 gas. The reactants here, we have two nitrogens. So you have two nitrogens. We have two oxygens on the, on the left, on the right, we have one nitrogen, because there's only one nitrogen in NO2, and two oxygens. So, to balance, I need to add, I need to put a coefficient of two in front of the NO2, because remember I've got two N's, two O's, and two O's. When I add the 2 in front of the NO2, that's going to make it so I have two N's, two O's on the left, and now I'm going to have two N's and four oxygens on the right. Now, I've got four oxygens on the right, only two on the left, so I'm going to have to put a coefficient of 2 here to make it so that I have four oxygens here as well. So my final formula, where I've got two nitrogens, four oxygens, two nitrogens, four oxygens. Always go back and double check. Two, to two nitrogens here, four oxygens, two nitrogens, four oxygens. You do want to make sure and double check yourself. That way, if you do get off in any area, then you can correct that. Some basic rules. Only the coefficients can be changed, not the chemical formulas. Can't say that enough. You must use whole numbers only, no fractions. You also want to make sure and use the lowest possible whole numbers. I've also provided an interactive practice that's available for you to try this out, and I'll provide uh, additional balancing in a separate video.